Hi, everybody. This is Virginia Milner back for the DeKalb County Library System, and we're going to do another video. I'm doing the video the same day that I made my other video complete with injured thumb because I just got inspired. So I thought, why not keep going? So what we're going to do today is make a couple of pairs of earrings. I am in a spiral mood, and I thought we could make a pair of triple spiral earrings. You can see that. There we go. And a pair of kind of wavy and wrapped earrings. Spring is here or coming, and uh, we need to get all colorful. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a lot of wire, a few little beads some wrapping, some spiral, spiraling, some um, waving. Let's go. So I'm going to get right to it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I am just excited. But anyway, we're going to use our regular flyers, round chain nose or square nose, and cutters. We're going to be using 20 gauge wire just different colors of 20 gauge wire and some little beads. I'm using some little seed beads and um, just some, some little beads that I had. Um, they, shouldn't, they probably shouldn't be more than about six millimeters. Eight at the most if you use an oval, which is what I'm using. Excuse me, these are about, let's see here. Six and eight, yeah. This is a little ooh, eight millimeter oval that I'm using. Very pretty. I'm trying to think of what it is. I don't think it's Jasper. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to use that. And I'm using a couple of little seed beads as the border beads. And that's where we're going. So let's go ahead and get started because I am excited to get these earrings finished so that I can wear mine. Oh, you get to see me with my glasses, isn't that lovely? <sighs> anyway, so let's start with the ones that are wrapped. Let's start with this pair. Right, yeah. Those are cute. Okay. So the first thing I did was cut about five inches of wire. And when you do this, uh, I would suggest that you do them both at the same time because it's easier to do them together than it is to try to match up one that's already been done, but it's already been done. So that's what I need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my five inches of wire and I'm gonna make my little spiral here at the bottom. That's going to be on the bottom. And try to match that up as closely as possible with the other one. So what I'm going to do is go down. I can put my pliers in here and see about how far down I went for that first partial loop. And it's about a third of the way down my pliers. So I'm going to do that again. And make a three quarter loop. Because I'm going to be spiraling around that loop. So I'm going to continue and get back on camera here. I'm going to continue to wrap and check this out. Just make it as close to the other one as I can. Yeah, continue to wrap around a little more because I have about a one and a half spiral here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to start my waves. So I'm going to bring it up. I've got about a one and a half inch spiral. Then I'm going to come to the top of my loop, just which is right across from um, the end of my wire right here. And I'm going to start making a little wave. See how this is waved around the other way? So I'm going to come up. And I'm going to start shaping it. Please ignore my Band-Aid into a little wave. Just a little 
curve around. As close to the other one as I can get in shape. A little more open here. Depending, looks a little worse for wear. I just put it on this morning. Okay, that looks, looks pretty good. Let's bring it around and make my next wave. And I'm just using my fingers to shape it. And if you need to, if you get a too sharp a bend in there like that, I can just take my square pliers and straighten it out a little bit. Continue. That looks good. Bring it on around. And then bend it back the other way for my next wave. And again, I'm just using my fingers. Now, if you wanted to, you could use like an ink pen or something like that, if you think that would help you shape it a little better. But this is very free form. And this really does not, doesn't really require any particular special tools to wrap. The biggest thing that I wanna make sure of is that my little waves kind of match up on each earring. Pretty close, very nice. There we go. Good. And now I can make my loop on the other side. Here we go. And now I can cut off this excess because I just need enough to make a loop. So I only need about half an inch. We clip off the rest of that, holding on to my tail so that it doesn't go flying off to worlds unknown. And let's make my loop. I think I can even cut a little more, but let's check it out first. Let's go ahead and make my other loop. So I'm gonna go again about a third of the way down my pliers, make my loop, quickly close that up. There we go. Little bit smaller. I'm gonna cut a little bit off in the center because I don't need as long a little neck here. So cut that a little bit off and There, there we go. I'm gonna take my hammer because it's kind of popping up and down. It's a little flat and I can use my fingers to do that too. So 
so that it lays down a little better. Here we go. And now it's time to wrap. Yeah, very nice. Eat. Okay, time for the wrapping. Yes, okay, time for wrapping. So now I want to grab my beads. Get the bag. I, I said this last time, you never know how much you miss your thumbs until you can't use them. Two, four, six beads. And about four inches of wire is about all I need. Let me make sure. I cut eight inches to do to wrap this one. <clears throat> I ended up cutting this, this piece off and I think it's about four inches. So let me double check here. Let's see what the length is on it. Yeah, about four inches. Hmm, that might be a little snug, but let's try it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put a little bit of a curve wire. So I'll go a little further down. I find that it makes it easier for me to wrap it if I do that. So I've got something to grip onto. So I've got a little curve there. Something to hang on to my wire. Let's just make a little wrap around here. The end of this is going down towards my spiral. Let's get that wrapped around. Just want to close that up. There we go. Okay, and push that end down, nice and tight. And this is gonna move because uh, it can only hold on so tight. And then I need to wrap my beads around it and that'll keep anything from moving after that. So I've got that wrapped around there, nice and snug. Push down the tail end so that it's not sticking up and ready to catch on anything. And let's introduce my beads. So I'm going to put one of these pretty brick red seed beads on. And then one of my little, I think, I can't think of what these are. There's some kind of stone and I, I am blanking on what they are. Okay, one bead on and my third bead on. And it just depends. You can use a larger bead. You don't want it to be too heavy because it's just 20 gauge wire. And just instead of using three beads, you can just use one larger bead. But I've got that. And what I like to do is curve it out in the opposite direction of the wire wave, just so it gives it, makes it a little more interesting instead of just straight across. And then I'm going to wrap it around my wire. You can give it two wraps, three wraps, up to you. So 
So there's my first wrap. And then you put my second trilogy of beads on. And again, I'm gonna give it a little curve like so. It around. I want to keep my wraps nice and close together. Some meat there. And again, you can do two or three wraps, it's up to you. And then my last set of beads. A little curve in there. And wrap, wrap it around. So these more rings. So nice and close. And there we are. And I like to cut it off so that the wraps are underneath. Because if it's resting closer to the bead, you, you don't have to worry as much about the end of it scratching you or anything. So I'm gonna clip that off. And then push down that tail. Here we go. And if you need to, you can do more shaping. I'm going to check this out because I think that I can still make this little neck a little shorter. Let me check. Yeah, I can make it a teeny tiny bit shorter on the neck here. Or I can just make the bend in my last wave a little sharper and then push my beads up. What do you think, huh? Looks pretty good to me. Yes. And now you got to remember that these are going to be mirrored. You want them to be on opposite sides on your ear. So when I put my ear wipe, my ear wire in. My ear wire is going this way on this one. And I want this one to go the opposite direction because it needs to be mirrored. Yes. And now all I need is an ear wire. Open it up. You open your ear wires the same way you open the jump ring. Just put your pliers on one side um, of the opening and push down on the ear wire and twist with the pliers in order to open it. And detach. Oops, make sure it's going the right way. Sure they're opposites. This way, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And close. And there are my earrings. Me, huh? So easy. Very, very easy, very simple, and very pretty. Next. <laughs> okay, so the next ones are going to be this triple spiral. If I can get it to lay down. Lay down. 
There we go. So it's just three spirals. That's it. Three little spirals, one on top of the other. And the trick is to make the spirals one a little longer than the other. So short, medium, longer, just so that they kind of uh, look a little more 3D. Okay. So for this one, I started with three and a half for the smallest, four inches for the medium, mid one, middle one, and four and a half inches of wire for the last one. And what I used was copper for the first one, the middle one is silver, and the bottom one is vintage or um, yeah, vintage. Uh, copper. I just wanted to stay with some neutrals. And so that's what I have cut. I have three and a half inches of copper, four inches of silver, and four and a half inches of vintage copper. So all we need to do is make our spirals. So the first thing, let's start with this one. It's a shorty. And all we need to do is make a little spiral at the bottom. It looks like sort of a little swan. And a loop at the top. It's all about the shaping. So all I need to do is make a little spiral. Again, I'm going to try to make it as close to the other one as I can. as far as the look of it. So again, I'm just taking the tip of my pliers, I guess I should have shown you. And I'm gonna do it two more times, that's okay. And make a loop. And it's only going about three quarters of the way around. You don't need to back the end up against the wire because we're making a nice open spiral. So I'm gonna to continue to wrap. It's sort of like we did this one. I'm gonna to continue to make my spiral, wrap my spiral. And again, I'm trying to match this one as closely as possible. Once I get to this point, I really don't have to use my pliers. I can use my fingers and that might make it a little bit easier to match the look of this one. I'm going to bring that around. Just keep spiraling. Just keep looping that. A little bit more. Yes. And just keep going around. I'm going to go all the way around until I again get to the little tip where I started. And that's where. Push this in a little bit more. Go a little closer. Yes. There we go. And then go all the way back. And now I'm going to start to curve the other direction to make my little swan's neck. So now I'm bending it in the other way. Just bending it in the other direction. So now this is what I have so far. And all the while I'm checking with the other one to see if I'm getting a similar vibe? And the answer is yes. So now it's time for me to make my loop. 
on the end. So I'm just gonna take my pliers. My loop is going to go in the same direction. I'm gonna continue with the same direction I have been going on my neck here. I'm gonna go down about a third of the way down my pliers again. Put my, put my wire in and make sure that there's nothing sticking out of the back. and make my loop. I'm choking up a little bit. I sound like a baseball player um, on the neck of it so that I don't pull this out of shape. So I'm holding it close to where my loop is going and just wrapping until I have a close loop. And see, it kind of looks like a little swan. Isn't that cute? That's my first one. That can be a little bit bigger. This is where you make your little adjustments. This could be a little rounder. And the way to do that is to take out some of this curve and add more of a curve in here. Just a little bit of tweaking. Here we go. Nice. One down, on to the next one, and that is my silver. Same thing. Take my wire, slide it a third of the way down my pliers, make an open loop, just like that. And then I'm going to continue to wrap my wire around, about, around itself for a nice little open spiral. Just keep wrapping. And again, in this case, I'm trying to make sure it's similar to the one that I've already made. Don't you just love radio silence when you're getting a tutorial? Okay. Yes. Let's continue the wrapping with my fingers. Okay. Just wrapping it around itself. Looping as I go, let me put this down so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little bit more of a bend than I want there. I want it a little more rounded. Good. One more round. Put a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Nice. And time to make my swan. That's good. And now, Let's make my swan. In order to do that, I've been going around this way. And now this long part, I need to go around that way. So I'm going to start bending it in the opposite direction and just nice, gentle coaxing of the wire. Yes, nice. And now it's time to make my loop. Slide my wire down about a third of the way down my pliers, make sure 
Nothing is protruding from the back of my pliers. And make my loop. Let's rotate until I have a closed loop. I think this could be a little more swan-like. So let's tweak it just a little more. There's my little swan. There we go, it's supposed to go that way. I just noticed something on this one. My little loop here is over on the side. So let's fix that. There we go. Yes, I think this could be a little shorter on the neck. Just gotta get my tweaking in. Yes, so I'm gonna snip off a little bit just like I did on the other one. On the inside of this, just snip that off a little. Rid of that little bit and close up my loop and that'll give me a smaller neck. There we go. Yes, it's my second one. Okay, first one and my second one. Let's go on to the third one. This one right here. So I'm gonna get my antique copper. Oh, it came off. Why? Because, oopsie, that's not completely closed. So it slipped off my ring. So let's just remedy that little problem right now. So that needs to go that way. Let's get back on there, make a good spiral. And then I'll close you up, nice and snug, so that you won't come off again. There we go. Very good. Actually, it needs to go the other direction. I flipped it the wrong way. Corrections, corrections. Let's open that up. the other way. Go. And close. There we go. Nice. Okay, back to my third spiral. Slide my wire down the pliers about a third of the way. Make my loop. Again, it's only a three quarter loop. And then we begin to wrap the wire around itself. Nice open spiral. And you can do this with the pliers. You can do it completely with the pliers if you want. You just want to make sure that the um, backs of the wires are nice and open. There you go. And just keep on going. I'm going to continue with my fingers. Let me check my other one here. I have one, two, 
one, two and a half, two and three. One, two and three. Yes, there we go. There are all my wraps. Let's check it to make sure it looks like this one. The little wires are a little closer together on the other one. So let's do that. This wire is very malleable, so it's not hard to adjust it at all. Don't have to worry about that. Make your little adjustments. Okay, bring that around. Tighter together. Nice, nice, nice. And time to make my swan. One, two, there's where my swan is. Very nice. And again, we're bringing the neck of it around in the opposite direction that we have, then we have them going. Matching it up, very nice. Make my loop. Wire three quarters of the way, or a third of the way down my pliers. Nothing sticking out the back. And make my closed loop. Just close that up. Very nice. There's my swan. Make any adjustments I need to make, tweak it a little bit, squeeze my little wires a little closer together if I need to. Here we are. All right, I've got all my components. The largest one, the middle one, and the smallest one. And those are the directions they need to go. That way, that way, and that way. Let's put it together, shall we? All I need to do is attach it to my jump ring. So again, this is going to be mirrored. So I have to make sure that I attach it properly. Jump ring is going this way. This first one, needs to be going the opposite direction of the one that I just made. So it's going to go like this. And this. And this. That's the way they're going to go. So let's open up my ear wire. Again, pliers on one side of the opening. Now, when you're using prefab ear wires, the opening of the ear wire, the, the opening of the loop is usually on the same side as the tip of your wire. So it's not hard to find. Spin that back, open it up. Let's put everything on. First one, hey, I suppose we go in the opposite direction here. That needs to go that way. So my first one, second one, and my third one. Double check it before I close, yes. And then close it really get back on there. Yes. And then I close up my ear wires loop. Make sure 
It's nice and tight. And there we have it. There's my other one. There's my other, my other earring. Ta-da! Neat, huh? <laughs> I love them. Of course, they're not dangling. So this is the way they're gonna look when they're on your ears. Right now they're just laying, laying up and stop it. That's not the way they're supposed to be worn. Get off of there. Very funny. Get off of there. Oh my gosh. How did I even do this? I don't know. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, there we go. I think I said, there we go. And then it didn't go. Oh, man. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Split Pappy right now. I can't seem to get anything together here. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I am so embarrassed. Is that right? Are you laying correctly now? Ugh. There. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Now, are you going to cooperate, please? Okay. So... <laughs> There are my, there are my earrings. I was trying to find a way to make them hang so that you could see them both. Instead of saying that seeing them laying against something. But that was a vain hope. Anyway, there they are. There they are. You've got two lovely pairs of earrings to start our spring off. I really wanted to do three, but eh, time got away from me. So we'll do another pair another time. But anyway, this is what we have done today. You know what, maybe I'll hang it over something. I think I did it. Oh, I know, last time I hung, hung it over my Oh, no, that's too big. Oh, there's some good on there. Uh, anyway, let's try this. There. There they are. Ta-da! I, I wish this was a solid color. It is not. But you, you get the idea. There are my earrings. There's my triple one. And there's my other one. I don't know how I'm going to take pictures of these because my, my little ear thing is out. Somebody's using it for display. Okay, so there are my earrings. Neat, huh? I really like this. I was just in a spiral kind of mood. And this is what came of it. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our program for today. And I hope you liked it. I'm trying to get to the other camera. My goodness. Ah, here we go.
There are our earrings for today. I like them. These are so lightweight. Oh my goodness. They don't weigh anything. Neither do these, even though they have beads on them. But hold them up. Here they are. And you can you can use you can um, do the colors any way you want. I started to use some colorful wire, but I didn't like the look of it. I like these nice basic natural colored um, metals. I think that's really neat because you can wear them with anything. So those of you who get kids, you'll get different colors of wire, metal, metal colors of wire. You'll get some beads, you'll get ear wires. You don't need jump rings for this because they attach right to the um, ear wire. Easy peasy. You'll be able to make these, put them on, go on down the road. Let me try these on. Let me see if I can give you a visual. <laughs> oh, those are awesome. Oh, I really like those. Those are so neat. Let's try the others on. I'm such a glutton. I have so many earrings. It's not even funny how many earrings I have. Okay, let's check those on. Oh, I hope you can see that. That's the joy of making your own earrings. You just never run out, and the possibilities are endless. I hope you can see that really well. Turn this light on. I think it might make it a little bright. Uh, and ta-da, ta-da, that's it. Okay, I think we're finished for now. Let me turn that off, that's really bright. So I think we're finished. Um, those are our offerings for today. I hope you liked it and I hope you'll make them. And I hope, I mean, especially with this kind of earring, both of them, you can make this any way you want. You can make this even longer. I mean, I can, I can just see that all the way down here, just really all the way down because the beads aren't very heavy. They're sto heavy, they're stone, um, but they're not huge. So you could put, uh, do a couple, you can make this twice as long and I don't think it would be any heavier, especially since the wire is only 20 gauge. So it's, it's not very, it's copper. It's not all that heavy. So you can make a really nice long dangle earring. It's still, it doesn't look, what, ostentatious. It, it doesn't look crazy long because it's so delicate and so, um, Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just very, very sweeping and elegant looking, and it's not huge. So I think that you can make this a lot longer and still look very, very classy and not be over overpowered as far as weight. And the same with this, you can make several different when you you can make it even longer. You can make bigger spirals. I'm gonna try this one on this side. You can make bigger spirals. You can make more spirals. And I, I think that, I mean, it would look great. And this does not weigh anything. Copper wire is so lightweight and strong at the same time. I'm leaving these on. I love them. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let us know one way or the other. If you make 
the earrings, please post it on the library Facebook page. Um, if you want to send it to me and let me post it on the uh, library Facebook page, or you want to ask any questions about anything that I've done that you may not have understood, if you have any feedback at all, good or bad, I want to hear it because my um, main objection, my, my main objective is to teach you. And if some, if I'm doing something that's not uh, resonating with you, then that doesn't do me or you any good. So please let me know uh, what your thoughts are, um, what your thinking is, what suggestions you might have, any idea of things that you would like to see in the future. And please let me see your designs, be, uh, your um, take on these designs, because I would just, I really would enjoy it. My email for this is jewelrygen20 at gmail.com. That's J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-G-I-N 20 at gmail.com. And I think that's the first time I did not stumble over the spelling of that Gmail. So I'm getting better. Anyway, until next time, have a great week. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Stay warm or cool, depending on where you are. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.